Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to jump right in. Today's video is going to be seven of my favorite cleaning YouTubers tips and hacks. So let's go ahead and just jump right on in. So if this is your first time here, I just like to welcome you. So the very first tip we're getting into was found on either TikTok or Instagram. And I don't know, I can't give credit to anyone on this one. I just saw it and I was like, I have to try this thing. So this is called the Black and Decker Power Scrubber Brush. The scrubber part comes off. It's just kind of Velcroed on there. It doesn't fall off or anything. I might, I'm still having trouble with my camera, so um, I had to get a better shot here, but this is what it looks like. And basically it does all the scrubbing for you. I think this might be good for people that maybe have arthritis or you just can't scrub as well as you'd like to. This kind of takes or does the work for you. So I did find with this that adding a little bit of water you'll see here i um, added some water to the scrubby brush and it started to suds up a little bit more and you'll see in a few other clips here that it suds up a little bit more and champsky's coming in to say hello he was wondering what that noise was <laughs> So as I'm using it, I'm trying to figure out if I like this or if I don't. It is fully submersible in water and it does run on batteries. So that's one of the advantages. I am using it to clean my shower, but it does show in some of the pictures that you can use it like for dishes, like pots and pans, if you have like a lot of baked on, caked on grease or whatever. So as you can see here, I'm using it on the shower handle and I'm, as you can see, I've got it turned, like I'm kind of turning it because it's kind of hard to get into smaller spaces. It's good for like big flat surfaces, you know, like your shower wall or like your bathtub. I want to use it a little bit more before I give like my final like verdict, but I feel like it's a handy tool. I Do I feel like you need it? No, not yet anyways. Um, I was thinking in my head I could still use my scrub brush and I'm just using my Donager mixture here, which is just 50-50 of Dawn and vinegar. I really like that like for multiple uses around my house. But um, you can see here it did a pretty good job on my shower handle. So I'm just moving on to the shower floor and you can see it's getting really foamy and sudsy, which I really kind of like that aspect of it. I was going to try to tell you how much it was. I bought it off of Amazon, but when I looked it up, it was showing it was unavailable. So if I can find it, I will try to link it down below if you're interested in looking at it and seeing um, if you're interested in it. I, I can't remember how much it was. I want to say it's like 14, 15 ish dollars. 
So before we get into the next YouTubers hack, I am washing my mats with this OxyClean White Revive. My friend Candy told me about this and I love it. Do you guys remember when you used to watch wash bath mats and they would, like the backing would come off in the dryer? These mats that I have here do not do that. Also, I don't really know why my lighting is so bad in the laundry room. I'm going to try to fix that for next uh, video or whenever I'm in the laundry room next time. I'm so sorry. It's dark in there. I have like the bright LED lights. So I don't know what's going on, but um, I'm just washing them on delicate. And then I do put them in the dryer and they've lasted quite a while. So I'm quite impressed. So... I'm just going to jump into the next tip. The second tip I have is from Crazy Cleaning Mama. Now, if you guys have not seen her, she is so adorable. I love her videos when she posts. So I'm just vacuuming the bathroom floor here. And the one thing I always see her do and I've been wanting to try is she always pulls out the Lysol wipes and she gets on her hands and knees of her bathroom floors and cleans them. The first time I saw her do this, I was like, no way. Like, you're not getting me on my hands and knees and I'm not going to like scrub my floor. I, I can vacuum and I can steam mop and all the things, but I'm not getting on my hands and knees. <laughs> so when I actually pulled out the Lysol wipes, I just use the, I use a different like variety of Lysol wipes. I have different kinds, but I just happen to have great value that day. And so I got on the floor and I started using these bad boys. Now, what I will tell you is this probably surprised me the most because when you're on the floor, you see things that you normally wouldn't see. Like I think right here, yeah, right here you see me start scrubbing the door because I saw a like a splash of some sort that I had never seen before. Also, when I got down there, I... I thought my baseboards were pretty darn clean and come to find out when I'm down there, I'm like, oh gosh, like I really need to like wipe these off. So you can see me kind of scrubbing some stains that I found and just random things. So this one surprised me the most. Uh, I didn't think I would like it, but I actually think I'll get done on my hands and knees. Now I don't know if I need to use Lysol wipes. I may use like a bucket of water and some sort of cleaning solution, but She's on to something here, I feel like. But anyways, um, I, if I didn't say it before, I'm going to link everyone's channel down below that I mention. They're just, all these people are people that I've been watching for a while. And at some point, something about their videos sticks with me. And so I'm just telling you some of the things that have stuck with me and things you may want to try. So this one, I would definitely recommend. So my next tip comes from Amy Darley. And if you haven't checked out Amy Darley's channel, she is cute as well. I love her channel. So what I've seen her do that really clicked with me is she, well, she actually uses a different tool than I do. It's some sort of pet hair remover. I just use a lint roller or my vacuum sometimes. But when I saw her do it, I was like, oh, like that just makes like so much sense to me because you don't want to wash your you know, your duvet cover all the time. And I just feel like pet hair is something you don't want to sleep with every night, even though, you know, your dog or cat may sleep with you, but I feel like it's important to clean it up in the morning. So this tip that she does in her videos, I see her do it all the time. I love it. Okay, so here we are just looking at my window tracks. They are super dirty. I've never washed them in the 17, 18 years that we've lived here. So I originally saw this on Jamie's journey. I feel like she's always cleaning her window tracks. Now, what I will say is she does use her Bissell steam shot. Yeah, I think it's a Bissell steam shot. And I love... 
well, I love that she uses it and she uses it in a multitude of places in her house. I bought the steam shot. I don't know if I bought the same model as she did, but to be honest, I did not like it. I don't know why. Um, it seems to work well for her, but I wanted to clean my window tracks because every time I see her do it, I'm like, I need to do that. But like I said, I tried the steam shot. I just didn't have good luck with it. I don't know if I had like an older model or what it was, but I, yeah, I saw her do it all the time and I was like, you know what? You need to do that sometime. You can see all that dirt that I'm getting up. So I'm just going to continue cleaning. And if you have not checked out Jamie's journey, she's probably one of the cleaning channels that I've watched the longest. So definitely check her out. So if you do decide to clean your window tracks, do give yourself a little bit of time because I do feel like it took a little bit longer than I would have liked. Like if you're in a hurry, I wouldn't um, attempt to do all your tracks. That stain, by the way, would not come out. It was like a paper thing that was stuck there. This next tip is from Squeaky Clean Life. And in her last video, she sprayed some peppermint oil and water, which I have in this bottle here on all of her window tracks and apparently peppermint is great for keeping spiders and bugs away and i just thought that was so smart squeaky clean clean geez squeaky clean life is new is a new channel for me and i just love how real she keeps things over there so definitely check her out i will link her below as well this next tip is from lynn white um I saw her do this in her last video and I thought, you know what, I need to do this too. Basically, I just took my O-Cedar mop and I took some hot water and Tide and I started going at it um, on my cabinets. Now, I was surprised at how well this actually cleaned. Like you can kind of turn your handle to get like into the ridges and stuff and I was kind of impressed. I was like, you know, this seems a lot easier than going at it like with, you know, just taking like my hand and like a microfiber cloth. So definitely give this one a try. This one was a win.
One tip I wanted to add to is make sure you wring out your mop really well. I didn't the first time and I had water flinging everywhere. So just make sure that you wring out your mop really, really well. So my final tip is from Joanna Thornton. I have also watched her channel probably a little bit less time than Jamie's Journey. I think Jamie's Journey was the first person I found, then Joanna. But she sweeps um, in, I don't know, maybe one out of every three videos. And I just, like, I think we forget that sometimes some of the simplest tools are the best. I really enjoyed, like, sweeping. I wasn't, like, mad at it. And she does this often, and I was like, I never use my broom. So I pulled it out. You can't see, but there's a lot of, like, dog fur and grass that we track in at the front door here. So yeah, this was a great tip. I see Joanna do it all the time. So I wanted to include that here. That last little clip was just some ASMR that I always see on TikTok of people refilling their empty bins. So that was that. But I may do a second installment of this because I thought this was really fun to like find things that stick out to me with other cleaning YouTubers. Um, if you enjoy this, please let me know. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.